Hey Aquarius, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be your collective love reading to see what's going on between you and your person, the person that you are connecting with currently, the person in your energy. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. I appreciate your support of my channel. It helps it grow. It helps me to get these messages to as many of you as possible. If you are new here, welcome as well. Perhaps you were led here because Spirit has messages for you. Never force a reading. If this is your reading, the messages will be fluid. Never force it. Cross watchers, you are welcome. And the roles may be reversed. Please flip the messages as needed if necessary. Okay, so we're going to get into it for you, Aquarius. Happy holidays. One more day until Christmas Eve. I hope you guys are well and that you're not driving yourself crazy shopping. I'm done shopping. <clears throat> it's really about love though. You know, the holidays is about spending time with your loved ones. That's the most important part of the holiday. So don't get caught up into the vanity of it. Okay. So let's get into it to see what's going on between Aquarius and their person. Spirit, please show me the messages that you have for Aquarius. Show me Aquarius, please. It's hard when you don't have the same family around for the holidays. The person that kept the family going, kept everybody together. So I'm praying for any of you who've lost someone very dear to you and you're going through this holiday without them physically being there please keep in mind that they are with you in spirit energy is transferred it never dies so i pray that you can feel your presence the presence of your loved one okay this holiday season and beyond okay so spirit please show me aquarius's current energy show me aquarius the current energy aquarius is the hangman spirit please show me Aquarius, this person's current energy. Your person's current energy is the impress reverse. Okay. I'm trying to see what's going on in this connection. We have challenges at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius, I feel like you're you're in this suspended energy. You feel this feeling of uncertainty in your connection at the moment. I feel like you're contemplating something and you feel stuck right now. You're trying to get a perspective on something. But I get the energy of just feeling trapped in a situation that doesn't feel good to you. All right? And just not moving forward. Just kind of just hanging in there literally <laughs> um and i get the empress reverse for your person libra energy i'm getting the feeling of um low self-esteem someone who feels insecure um i'm getting a cold dependency feeling dependent perhaps on you within this connection um but i'm also feeling like there's this harmony between you and your person so i definitely feel some energy of conflict between you and your person in the past, I got the Lovers, Gemini Energy, and the Queen of Wands, Reverse. I felt like things were going good in the, in the, in the past. I would say more so, in the re recent past, someone interfered with this connection. I can tell you that off the top of the head. Um, I get like, you guys were in harmony. You were having some, just having a good, a good, um, I don't know how to put it into words. It was like a really good vibe going on between you and your person, okay? You coming together. You were remembering what brought you two together in the first place. I get this soulmate energy. Um, just feeling like you guys are in tune with each other. And there was some sort of decision that needed to be made, okay? Um, but I also get this Queen of Wands reverse. Somebody who's very selfish. I feel like this is like an outside party. That, that's interfered with this connection. Um, someone who's a troublemaker, to put it bluntly. A very selfish person. Um, very spiteful and jealous. Perhaps jealous of your connection. I feel like this is some sort of outside influence that has interfered in this connection. What made your decision? 
Spirit, please clarify. Um, I feel like there was a major decision that had to be made. I got the Two of Pentacles reversed and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, making the decision again. Um, someone in this connection was feeling really overwhelmed and just wasn't <clears throat> organizing the shit that was happening accordingly in a beneficial way. Okay, um, and it was a decision that needed to be made. And with the Ten of Pentacles, I also get like work something that has to do with stability, working on the you know building the foundation of this connection, the commitment, focusing on the commitment. Okay, that's what I'm getting. But at the same time, someone in this connection was feeling overwhelmed. Okay, it's like they they had to choose one thing over the other. I'm not saying one relationship over the other. I get that it may be related to something financial, perhaps. But if it affected this the commit this commit this commitment, it connected it affected you guys somehow financially. So with this Queen of Wands, I can tell you right now that I'm getting like kind of like perhaps this is somebody you have a child or children with. Your person has a child or children with, I get, and this is like a baby mama. I hate to use that term, but it is what it is, or an ex, something funny. It could be, even if there's no, no children involved, there's some side of, some, some sort of legal, some sort of financial binding with this person, this queen of wands reverse. I feel like this is an ex, an energy of an ex, okay? A spiteful ex, a jealous ex, okay? And there was a decision that needed to be made because it was overwhelming this connection, and the focus is supposed to be the stability and the commitment of this relationship first, okay? Meanwhile, I got the two of cups reverse and the sun reverse. So I feel like whatever decision was made, you know, it interfered in this connection. Aquarius, you should know exactly what I'm talking about. You should be listening to this saying, yep, you know, you, you at this point, you should recognize this situation because you're in it. All right, so with the sun, I'm getting the Leo energy with the sun reverse. I feel like there's some unhappiness in this connection. Um, I, I feel the energy of feeling like your person lacks enthusiasm of the of the relationship. Like they're just really aloof. And with the two of cups reverse, I feel like there was some sort of breakup or separation currently. I feel like there's an argument that took place with this sun, with the sun reverse and this two of cups in reverse. I'm getting arguments. I'm getting bad communication and I'm getting a breakup. Okay. Um, you guys were co conflicted about something. There was something that you guys could not come together with and I'm getting separation very, very strongly. Okay. There's a lot of unhappiness. That's why your current energy is the hangman. Like you feel stuck in your situation and you're contemplating what you should do next. Okay, so some of you, if you're married, then you're trying to figure out what should I do? Should I end this relationship? Uh, you know, you got a lot invested with this person. Um, you may live together, you know, child or children, that kind of thing. Invested as well with your person. A lot of time is invested and you're trying to figure out should you leave for good. But I feel like currently you guys are not speaking to each other. And when you do speak, you're arguing over something that took place in the recent past with this Queen of Wands reverse, okay? And again, your person's energy is the, is the Empress reverse. So their self-esteem is low too. You know, they got these insecurities. And, you know, I get that because you and your your partners, um, and you have some sort of investment together. Something, it could, like I said, it could be time, it could be money. But something is tied together in a way that makes your partner feel like they can't leave either. You both feel kind of stuck with each other. But even though you guys, like, had a breakup, it was an argument, you know? An argument when you're, like, you're ending the relationship, but you're not really ending the relationship. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting. Um, What caused this Two of Cups reverse? Spirit, please clarify what caused this. Two of Swords. And the Eight of Swords. I'm getting a lot of sword energy. You can be connecting with a Gemini, Libra, or just your Aquarius, your Aquarius, another Aquarius, or it's your energy. But what I get, the reason why this Two of Cups reverse is here and all this separation right now and this disharmony and this tension and this connection. Eight of Swords, mental entrapment, feeling like I can't get out of the situation. That's your energy because you're in the hangman energy, Aquarius. You feel like you can't get out. The Two of Swords, I mean, between you and your person, 
someone is is not willing to see the truth and denial about what's happening now and the issues that's happening and they're trying to make a difficult decision but i'm getting energy of avoidance okay um i feel it like this is a painful choice for this person like the person that's in denial um and i'm getting torn between two relationships so there is this Queen of Wands reverse that's interfering. I don't get that it's sexual, but there's involvement. If there's children involved, if there's some sort of financial investment, this person is still tied up with this ex, this Queen of Wands reverse, okay? And it's affecting you to the point where, of course, I feel like you're powerless. You feel like there's a lot of anxiety. Um, And you feel silence. Like you feel like there's nothing you can really say. Like you've said everything that you can say to your person and it's falling on deaf ears. So you feel stuck. And I, you get, and, and I get self-victimization. Like you feel like your person may be trying to play the victim. But you feel stuck in your situation. You feel trapped. It's again, mental entrapment. You have an ability to get out, but feel like you can't get out of the situation. Like you guys are too invested, too deep in together. Okay, so in the future, I got the star and I got the seven of pentacles reverse. Okay, this is your energy, Aquarius, and you're, you're, you're manifesting something here. You're trying to manifest something. Because with the seven of pentacles, it's like, again, you know, slow progress between you and your person. There's something that has to do with money as well. Okay. Something that your person might have invested in, I'm getting. And that's probably what the issue, the main issues I feel like is about is around money and it's tied to this ex, this Queen of Wands reverse. And meanwhile, you're, you're feeling like there's no reward from this. Like I'm not, we're not benefiting from this. It's just setting us back. And you feel like your person is not finishing what they started. Okay. Um, but the star is here. And the star is about healing and, and having faith. It's about manifestation and being optimistic. Spirit, why is this star here? Let's clarify the star. Okay, I got the Knight of Wands and I got the Two of Wands reversed. Now I'm getting a lot of fire energy. Could be connecting with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Any sign, if this reading is resonating, then it is for you, okay? Um, a Knight of Wands is something that comes in pretty fast. Um, it could be kind of flighty at the same time, in and out. Knight of Wands is definitely flighty, you know, energy. It comes in really fast and it's exciting and you feel good about it. It's a risk that someone's taking moving forward, okay? And um, then there's this Two of Wands reverse, though. This is saying, like, there's a lack of planning here, okay? Um the reason why this this is moving slow with the Seven of Pentacles reverse, and you guys feel like you're not, you know, benefiting from whatever this investment is, or your person if they invested with this Queen of Wands reverse, some decision that they made, there hasn't been a, there's been a lack of planning and there's indecisiveness. Okay, there's a fear of change, so your your person is not doing everything they're supposed to be doing to move forward. Okay. Um, that's why this is it is this energy of your your person with the Empress reverse, the insecurity that they're having right now, feeling dependent on you and the whole entire situation, lacking confidence to move forward. But the star is saying that you need to have hope. Okay? Not Knight of Wands. Why is this Knight of Wands here? You need to work on your person needs to work on their confidence or you guys need to work on your confidence about whatever it is that you, you need to come together and work on because again this four swords i'm getting the contemplating energy okay um stagnancy feeling overwhelmed moving forward and stressed out so just letting shit happen instead of making shit happen but there's a need for you to be self-assured be confident your person needs to work on their confidence, okay? Because if your person's confident in what they do and believe that the decisions that they're making moving forward are the right decisions, they can manifest the outcome that they want. They just have to be confident and they have to be optimistic. They have to see it happen. They need hope and faith, okay? Faith is required to make this happen. And that's what's happening, but that but I'm seeing delays. So I'm letting you know, um, maybe this is you trying to have hope because the star is your energy, um, Aquarius. 
but there's a need for you to try to stay optimistic and for you guys to come together with a solid plan because what's causing all this anxiety is a lack of planning and a lack of follow through on whatever this is okay it's like being so fit so afraid that you're at a standstill all right um there needs to be some movement movement is necessary because you guys are in conflict right now you're both feeling stuck in a situation a decision needs to be made okay that's what i'm here make a decision you know what this is you know what you need to do if you want positive results you have to put in positive work okay so spirit please show me um aquarius's person's current feelings for aquarius i got the nine of wands i got the moon pisces energy and I got the seven of wands reverse. There is so much tension in this connection. It's fiery. When it's passionate, it's fiery. When it's anger, it's fiery. It's a very, very passionate connection. Um, the, Again, the moon is Pisces energy. It could be any sign. What I see right now, currently, your person just feels like there's a failure to defend themselves in this situation. And they just feel like giving up. The seven of wands reverse okay so whatever you guys are arguing about they just feel like i see somebody throwing their hands up like fuck this with the nine of wands it's like it's just an ongoing battle between you two but you're still trying to push through but yes your person is still feeling like I, they feel drained you know you guys feel wounded very tired but spirit is like keep moving because there's something that's not being not being revealed yet okay this moon why is this moon here Page of Pentacles, Reverse, and the Three of Pentacles, okay? You guys got to be careful, okay? Continue to push through, though. But this is the thing. Something is not being revealed yet. Something that hasn't been revealed. And I feel like this, whatever this offer is, with, that's connected to this person in the past, that you guys are arguing about, it's an empty offer. Okay? I get that the person, you know, or maybe your person, their, their views on this offer are very immature, very irresponsible, didn't put in the work, okay? I'm getting this loyalty. Your person may feel like you didn't follow through and you weren't loyal to, you know, I feel like you were against it. Your person wasn't, your person was being naive and then it was a bad decision and it involved this queen of wands reverse. There's a need for you guys to come together with the three of pentacles, okay? There's a need for teamwork. I'm hearing co-parenting, okay? There's co-parenting. -co you, perhaps you need to come together with your queen of wands reverse person or the inner person or the person. I'm getting co-parenting, so I don't feel like it's the person you're with. I feel like it's your ex, okay? So if there's children or child involved, there's a need for you two to come together. Pay attention to detail, okay? Read everything, okay? Pay if there's something that you guys need to sign or fill out or go over, be very strategic and pay attention to detail, okay? You need to align whatever it is that you're trying to do. Get your person on the same page. It's going to be hard because this person is very jealous. It's very, this person is very spiteful. This is a troublemaker. But if you have a child of children with them, you got to be willing to come together to make it work, okay? Your person may even be the one that's irresponsible, um, and that's the empty offer that they're offering you. They didn't do the follow-through. I'm getting that really strongly, okay? They might have even used the child or the children in regards to whatever this is that they got you involved with, okay? They might have said something they had to do around like a learning difficulty or something, like a learning uh, educational issue that the child is having or something, some sort of um, emotional, you know, mental development or something I'm hearing, okay? But, you know, you need to pay attention to what's happening. Your person needs to pay attention to the details and come together, you all need to come together and make and, and, and get things aligned and um, follow through, okay? Because I can tell you right now in the near future, whatever it is that you invested in, it was a bad investment. You're not going to get anything out of it, okay? It co it's going to cause delays because there's a lack of effort and there's no growth, okay? Someone didn't do what they were supposed to do and they didn't follow through. All right, so Spirit, please show me Aquarius's feelings for their person. Show me Aquarius's feelings. I got the Page of Cups. I got the Three of Swords and the Page of Wands. I feel like the Three of Swords, I'm definitely feeling that there was some sort of misunderstanding <clears throat> and there was some separation, okay? There's some heartbreak there. If someone's removed here. So I feel like it might be you, of course. I feel like it's your energy that whatever this tension or this argument happened, 
you got mad and you know you two just went your own separate ways again it doesn't mean that the relationship's over but i definitely felt like you two separated okay um with the page of cups and the page of swans page of swore i mean page of wands page energy um your person might have tried to apologize with this page of cups okay it was a little something it might have been a message that you that you received um something that you feel like is a little sweet but you're like this is cute but this is not going to fix the big the, everything else um they might have told you about some exciting plans that they feel optimistic about with the page of wands some sort of good news that they're feeling optimistic about perhaps that's their energy um the star in the near future that they feel optimistic about something but keep in mind that that's not that's not going to be profitable um whatever that is um it's not a good investment so I'm letting you know right now that, you know, your person, whatever they invested in, and they're telling you that, you know, things are going to be good about that, that particular thing, and they're apologizing, that's not going to work, okay? It's not going to turn out to be something good. But regardless, that, that this shouldn't stop you guys from taking the risks. It's just that you guys need to come together and think about things and see things through, all right? Um, this Knight of Wands is very flighty. So if this... Queen of Wands reverse connected you with someone else. This person is in and out and flighty. Okay? They talk a good one. Spirit clarify this Knight of Wands again, please. Okay. <laughs> you're stepping in with the Queen of Cups energy. So I feel like you're trying to block it off. For me to put this card right on top of this Knight of Wands, it's like, no. I I, I don't really trust this Knight of Wands that much. This person can't be reliable. They're in and out. Who will you? You're like, who is this person? When, why, like, who's this person? You don't even know this person. This is what I'm hearing Aquarius say, like, to their person, like, I don't trust that person. They're very charming. You know, it sounds all good. They came in real fast. But, you know, I don't, I don't feel good about this. And you're like, no, I'm putting my foot down about that with this Queen of Cups energy. Okay. And why is that? Because of the Six of Pentacles reverse. Okay. Poor investing. <laughs> straight up cards do not lie you feel that that's a poor investment you feel like that your person may be getting scammed by this knight of wands that's connected to this queen of wands reverse this ex this baby mama or this person that your person from their past they, they're trying to invest in you feel like it is a bad decision okay and you don't feel like it's an equal give and take so you feel like your person is going to come out short if anything but flat out you think that it's a scam okay um so that's why you're trying to come and stop that night of wands or even affecting it. So, you know, you guys, you need to come together because I feel like Aquarius, you, you strongly feel the way that you do. And I have to say that I feel like your energy is right. Your gut is telling you that this is no good. Continue to keep talking to your person. The challenge is at the bottom of the deck is the four, five of wands and the seven of swords. Okay. The challenge is this, this continued conflict with you and your person. This is pettiness and it's chaotic, all right? But with this Seven of Swords, there's a bigger, bigger, bigger challenge. There's someone that's trying to manipulate you and your person, okay? They're trying to betray you. You cannot believe this person. They're very deceptive. Don't trust it. I'm getting underhandedness, okay? Somebody's trying to take from you or your person. Blankly, you cannot trust this person. Your your ch the biggest challenge is recognizing that this person, this Knight of Wands and this Queen of Wands reverse, okay, cannot be trusted. All right. So instead of you two fighting each other, y'all should be fighting for each other because the Seven of Swords is here, and somebody on the outside cannot fucking be trusted, and that is the problem. So Spirit, please show me advice for Aquarius, please. Show me advice. Ten of Wands reverse, Six of Swords, and the Page of Swords reverse. A lot of sword energy, okay? I'm getting your, your Aquarius, your air energy. I'm getting Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay, just remember, with this Page of Swords reverse, there is deception. There's so much deception on this table, Okay. This this person that's these this this Knight of Wands and this Queen of Wands reverse they are all talk. It's manipulation. I'm hearing all talk. Okay, they lack the ideas. They lack planning. They're all over the place. That's why this Knight of Wands person keeps going in and out. That's connected with this Queen of Wands reverse from your, from your person's past. Okay, it is deception. 
Okay, do not trust it. With this Ten of Wands reverse, uh, Spirit is saying that you, you guys have enough going on to take this on. That there's a need for you to offload this burden. Let it go. It's too much. Let the shit go. With the Six of Swords, y'all need to move forward together. Together. Peacefully together. Y'all need to find a peaceful resolution between the two of you and leave any conflict behind, okay? Get out of the situation. Go towards stability and relief, okay? Follow, like, you have to tap into your spiritual guidance. I'm your spiritual guidance. <laughs> Let this shit go and remove yourself out of the situation. Get out of it. It's, it's only going to cause further chaos. You cannot trust these two individuals and you know who they are, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to post some messages before I close out this raid. This is heavy. Y'all got to be very careful about who you talk to, who you share with, especially financially. Be very, very careful. Read between the lines. You know, listen to people, what they're saying and what they are not saying. And focus on the facts and not just what's coming out their mouths. Okay? Your person is a bit naive. But, but Aquarius, you need to stand in your position, stand in your power on this. Put your foot on someone's neck about this situation and, and protect this protect this connection and get out of conflict with your person. Y'all need to come together. There's no time for y'all to be in disharmony. There's no time. Y'all need to come together on this. So many things remind me of you. That is your person. <laughs> But these are their thoughts. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got wrapped up in this. This is what is what is your person's hidden thoughts and feelings, what they're not saying to you, okay? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Your person loves you a lot. So all this conflict, you know, it's it's emotional. But it's, it, trust me, someone's man manipulating the situation. I'm so attracted to you. Very attracted to you. Your person is very, very attracted to you. I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay? So that's a very direct message. Aquarius, you would know exactly what your person is talking about when they say, I know exactly what I was doing, okay? You know, this is something that you were wondering, were they being manipulated into this or, you know, because, you know, this is a grown-ass adult, you know? And so, do I blame other people for everything? No, your person says as far as what they did, they knew exactly what they were doing, okay? Um, and if you want clarification, Spirit, just clarify that. Okay, I got the Six of Cups and I got... Um, the temperaments reverse, okay? Sagittarius energy. This is this, this, I guess this person is saying, you know, this is somebody from my past. I had a lot of good memories too. You know, the Six of Cups. They, this person, there's somebody from their past. So they, they're focused on what the, the, the good times in the past with this person, which made them feel like maybe they can trust them. Meanwhile, this temperaments reverse is here. It's only caused imbalance, conflict, frustration. Okay? So all the chaos in this connection is, your, is, is brought on because your person decided to trust this person from the past and they shouldn't have. But they're like, I knew what I was doing at the time. You know, I know it's a bad decision, but this is, you know, it's accountability, guys. Okay? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some... You know what you need to do, so I don't need to pull these. Okay. It's better to tell me to pull these cards, okay? What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you are waiting for a sign, well, here, the, here it fucking is. So basically, Aquarius, if you're waiting for a sign to move forward, this is it. I already told you everything you need to know. You cannot sit on this. You, can't, you guys cannot be in conflict. Y'all got to come together on this. Because y'all are being manipulated, okay? Someone's trying to, to, to take shit from y'all and get you involved in some shit that's no good. So what are you waiting for? Come together and get this shit done. You need a good fucking cry. Get that ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. I feel like you've been suppressing your emotions or they've been coming out at the worst possible time, Aquarius. There's a need for you to just let it out because you're trying to keep it together. You're trying to be the strong one. You can have uh, moments of... Of vulnerability you are entitled to that too just let it you know you've been hurt by this you felt betrayed by your person because you probably told this person not to do the things that they're doing now and they did the shit anyway and now you're both suffering from it okay so you know 
let it out, release. I'm going to pull these Love Oracle messages and we're going to close out this reading. All right? I know there's a lot going on here, but <clears throat> this situation needs your attention immediately. <laughs> there is no time for y'all to be fighting each other. That's what this Queen of Wands reverse wants, okay? They're getting what they want. What are y'all getting? What are y'all getting out of this? Time to take action now. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. So don't isolate yourselves from each other. Don't push each other further apart. Bring each other closer. Y'all going to need each other through this, okay? It all makes sense when y'all come together on this and put the missing pieces together. You know, you need to be transparent with your person about what you feel about everything, and they need to do that to you. Then y'all can compare your notes, your stories, and get out of this situation with these people, okay? Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Okay, so there's certain things that you guys cannot change, okay? It already happened. You can't say, if you would have did that or we should have did that, there's no going back to fix that part of this situation. It's been done. It's time for you to say, okay, what are we going to do now moving forward, okay? Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Again, this queen of wands reverse wants y'all to be in conflict with each other. Because if y'all break each other down, you break the relationship. And that's where y'all are right now. So this person is getting what they want. So is this um, knight of wands that comes in and out with this person. They are connected, by the way. This knight of wands is connected to this queen of wands reverse. All right. So, you know, accept each other. And watch, and watch how things change for you guys. Y'all need to come together for this for the sake of your relationship, okay? So that is it. Those are the messages that I have for you, Aquarius. If this reading resonated, please let me know by liking, sharing, commenting, or subscribing. I wish you nothing but healing, love and light, and insight, 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 okay? I wish you all and blessings to you. Get out of this situation. Peace.